good morning and welcome to the first day of October. Man, we're just buzzing along through this school year so far. And many of us are doing a really great job of getting our work done and submitted on time and doing it correctly. Um, today, we're going to continue our work uh, that we started on yesterday in class. So that is using uh, that the checklist in order to determine whether or not websites are reliable or that information is information that we should use when we're doing our research. Now, a couple things that I noticed, there's a, uh, a lot of people didn't turn in the assignment yesterday, which is fine because it's a two-day assignment, but one of the mistakes that people are making is they're not up in the very top portion of each of those checklists. It asks you to copy and paste the website that you are checking the reliability of, that you're using on that particular checklist. And a number of people haven't done that, which makes it difficult for me in order to evaluate whether or not you're getting that process if I don't know which website you're, it is that you're looking at. I can't tell uh, whether you're making mistakes or whether you're doing it correctly. So you have to make sure that you copy and paste that, uh, that URL, that web address, up on that line. The other thing that people are losing points for is because they're not telling me why they would or they wouldn't use that website in their research. Once you've gone through and you have, um, you know, you've done the checklist and you've circled the numbers, you have to tally those numbers and then look at that little uh, sort of code at the top that says, hey, if you got a plus seven, then this is probably a reliable website. If you have somewhere between four and six, mm, it's questionable. If you have three, you shouldn't use this website. You're not telling me, you're not tallying your numbers and you're not telling me why or why you wouldn't use that website, all right? You're just telling me, yep, this seems reliable or nope, it's not reliable and you're not giving me any details as to why it's not reliable. So make sure that you do those things. Uh, I would hope that we would have all of both a discussion and uh, that those reliability checklist activity, that we would have all of that done by the end of class today. Have a great day. If you get finished with the other stuff or you are finished with the other stuff and it's turned in already, go back and look in power school and make sure that you don't have any missing assignments. Today would be a great day to get caught up on some of those other assignments that you're missing if that's the case for you. So go back and check that out. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.